Hey guys, what's going on? This is Buddy Blackford here with another After Effects tutorial. I am going to teach you about hold keyframes today, and I'll I made like a little animation right here so I could explain what it was. But basically, a hold keyframe is used if you want to start and stop your animation, but not have a motion path in between. So you just want maybe this tuna can to appear in the corner and then maybe appear in the other corner without moving. So I, I made a quick preview so you guys can see it. And this is what I'm talking about here. So this is uh, what hold keyframes can do. So the way that you can do that is um, basically by easily by using um, hold keyframes it's pretty simple so the hold keyframe can be found in the animation keyframe assistant or uh, no no select the keyframe animation toggle hold keyframe and the hotkey is control alt h but i know a better hotkey you can hold control and alt and click on the keyframe and it will change it to a hold keyframe so I'll just animate this um, other tuna that I have here and we can that way I can explain it and show it to you guys at the same time so let's start at zero and we'll make put the tuna up here in the corner and P for position click on my stopwatch I'll move to ahead one second and I'll move down here and I'll go to the next second here and just move it somewhere else okay now all I gotta do is select all the keyframes control alt click and there you go you can also right click and there should be a toggle hold keyframe there also so now if we look at the animation it's uh, starting starting and just appearing around so something that uh, some people do that is actually kind of wrong and produces a glitch in After Effects is uh, doubling up keyframes so I'll show you what I mean real quick so we'll take that off and we're gonna copy this first keyframe here which is uh, I'll select it I'm selecting the scale and everything I gotta get off and I'll hit U just to uh, bring up my position uh, keyframes. Select the keyframe, hit Edit, Copy, or Control C. And I'm going to hit K to get to the next keyframe. Then I'm going to hit Page Up to go back one frame and paste the keyframe that I copied. And now you can see how it's kind of like jacked up looking and then we'll do the same thing with this keyframe copy the K paid come down in here I'll hit K to go to the next keyframe page up to go back edit did I not copy it edit yeah apparently I didn't copy it oh man control Z because I accidentally just deleted that Edit, copy, and then edit, paste. Okay, there we go. So essentially, it does the same thing, but when you go to render, it's going to produce a glitch, and your animation isn't going to look correct. It doesn't show it on this screen, but it's a it's a common mistake that happens, and you'll see it in forums every once in a while. People asking why is this happening? Everything looks good. So there's your explanation there for that. So don't do this. This is the way not to go. So you want to, uh, I'll delete them so we don't have to see them anymore. And there we go. And you just want to do the hold keyframes. So if you get to the end here, to the last keyframe, and say I want to make a, a motion path that actually moves on the next keyframe I'll go here and then I'll move this 
give you a preview real quick. This square is also a whole keyframe. If the keyframe before was linear, it will turn into the uh, left arrow. If, if it wasn't, it'll turn into this square, which is the same thing for a hold. But as you can see, it didn't create, let's change it to a regular keyframe. As you can see here, it doesn't do what we want it to do. So what you have to do is copy this keyframe, edit, copy, and we'll say, we'll just put the keyframe right here, edit, paste, make it a regular keyframe, and now it'll move. See, there you go. So that's how you continue out of a hold keyframe. You paste the hold keyframe and change it into a normal keyframe. And that's it for holding keyframes. They are pretty useful nowadays. You see a lot of uh, animations where stuff just pops in and out all the time, and that's how they do it. So hope you guys enjoyed the tutorial. We'll see you back on the next one.